Crazy Joe Walsh, not the one from the Eagles. The deadbeat dad guy. The guy who has a bunch of kids and is not paying for their, uh, his child support. Because all he's doing is making 175 grand a year now as a congressman. Was in a bar uh, talking to constituents and supposedly not drinking, but he claimed afterwards that he had an empty stomach. Here he is lying to his constituents and doing so uh, in a very, very angry way. Joe, They're look at the people, Paulson and whoever else, that keep going from a big bank, then they go into Fed government, then they go back into the banks, and they just keep rotating. I agree with you about that. <coughs> That's not the problem. Incidentally, the second voice is Joe Walsh. <laughs> the guy who starts getting angry. That's not the problem. The problem is you got to be consistent. And I don't want government meddling in the marketplace. Yeah, they, they, they move from, from Goldman Sachs to the White House. I, I understand all of that. But you got to be consistent. And it's not the private marketplace that created this mess. Yes, in fact, it is the private marketplace. And Walsh is about to go on to tell a big lie. So far, what he's done is he's yelled at his constituents and said, the problem is not the revolving door, the crony capitalism. I, I agree with his constituent, and I imagine his constituent is probably a Republican. That yes, the big problem that we have in this country is that uh, we have a Senate and we have an administration that has been doing the bidding of the private investment banks. What created this mess is your government, which has demanded for years that everybody be in a home. And we've made it as easy as possible for people to be in homes. Here's Joe Walsh doing his best uh, Michael Bloomberg impersonation. What Joe Walsh is, is, is referring to is the CRA, the Community Reinvestment Act, that was passed in 1977 which basically said to banks, you cannot redline. <laughs> you have to give mortgages uh, to poor people and to black people, uh, and you cannot have a redline saying, we're not going to give loans in this minority community, or we're not going to give loans in this poor community. Uh, you cannot do that. It's illegal. And so Joe Walsh is saying, well, we forced the banks to give loans to these people, create these subprime mortgages. The fact of the matter is, that less than 20% of the banks responsible for subprime loans, less than 20%, were actually subject to the Community Reinvestment Act. 80% of subprime loans came from banks that had no Community Reinvestment Act obligations. All the marketplace does is respond to what the government does. The government sets the rules. Don't blame banks and don't blame the marketplace for the mess we're in right now. I am tired of hearing that crap. So don't I am tired of hearing that crap. Fighting the situation, taking and there are money all, out to people they know they couldn't There are it. already mechanisms you in place. It, no, you know what, because this pisses me off. Too many people don't listen. There are already mechanisms in place to do that. Are they doing their job? No. But what do you want to do? You want to bombard them with more regulations, more government? No, government, government screwed this problem up. What do you want? Reform. Well, you know what you've got? Because you, honestly, no, you know what you've got? The you banks, got Dodd-Frank. You got Dodd-Frank now that's tying everybody's hands. You want more reform, more regulation? That's what you got. John, do you want more regulation? Is that what you want? Do you want Dodd-Frank? Is what, that what you want? What did I say back at uh, Joe's uh, bar? I need shop. more coffee. It's so so freaking easy. Decaf. So easy. Decaf. Strong stuff. Quiet for a minute. Hang on. Quiet for a minute. What did I say? Quiet for a minute. Shop. Or I'm going to ask you to leave. <laughs> you need to listen. Or I'm going to ask you to leave. Joe Walsh. Quiet for a minute. Quiet, or I'm going to ask you to leave this bar. This guy's off his meds, too. He must be the craziest not-drunk person I've ever seen at a bar. That's right. Crazy Joe Walsh, folks. Crazy Joe Walsh.